Hello students. This is J Science Hub. Today we are going to study about momentum. The momentum of a moving body is a measure of how difficult it is to stop the motion of that body. So the momentum can be defined as a mass in motion. All objects have mass, right? So if an object is moving, then it has a momentum. It has its mass in motion. The amount of momentum that an object has is depend upon two variables. How much stuff is moving and how fast the stuff is moving. Momentum depends upon the variables mass and velocity. In terms of an equation, the momentum of an object is equal to the mass of the object times the velocity of the object. From this we can form a simple formula momentum equal mass into velocity. We use lowercase p as a symbol for momentum. So from this we can rewritten this equation as p is equal m into v where m is the mass and v is the velocity. The equation illustrates that momentum is directly proportional to an object's mass and directly proportional to the object's velocity. So, in order to increase the momentum, we can increase the mass as well as we can increase the velocity of the object. Vice versa, if you want to reduce the momentum, you can reduce the mass as well as you can reduce the velocity of the object. So, when a motor vehicle is moving fast, it possesses a large momentum. When it reduces its velocity, the momentum decreases, right? If it speed up again, the momentum will increase again. The unit for the momentum is the combination of mass unit and velocity unit. It is kilogram meter second minus one. Momentum also vector quantity, a quantity which has the magnitude and the direction. The direction of the momentum vector is the same as the direction of the velocity vector. So now we study about the formulas related to momentum. In order to get a deep understanding, we are going to discuss about some examples related to momentum. We know the momentum is depends on both mass and velocity of an object. So from this we can't simply take the conclusion that if the velocity is increased the momentum will high. Or we can't take the conclusion if the mass is high the momentum is high. Because the momentum value is depends on both variable value. You just think if I throw a pencil you can easily catch it right. But if I throw a shot put with the same velocity, it's difficult for you to catch it because due to the increase of the mass, the momentum also increase, right? So from this, we can't simply conclude if the mass of an object is increased, the momentum also will increase. Why? Because think about the bullet. Bullet is having a small mass, but it's shot with a high velocity from the gun. That's why it's not possible to stop the bullet. It's only possible in Hollywood movies, right? So now we study about the momentum with the help of examples also. So let's do some practice exercise to check whether we understand the formula as well as the concept of momentum. Look at this question. A motor car is moving. It has the mass of 800 kilogram and it's moving with a velocity of 5 meter second minus 1. The question is to find its momentum. So first of all, you write the formula of momentum. Momentum equal mass into velocity. In the corner of the sheet, write the data which presents in the question. Mass equal 800 kilogram. Velocity equal 5 meters second minus 1. Now check the units of these values. Then represent them in the formula. When we multiply these value, we get 4000 kilogram meter second minus one right so this is the answer for this question i hope you understand about momentum thanks for watching the video like share subscribe to j science hub for more videos related to science